you've probably noticed that Microsoft have stepped up and created new functionality for managing your iOS, iPadOS and macOS devices in recent months. So for that reason, it's a good time to revisit and have a look at the capability for managing your estate. In this video, we're going to look at how we create a connection between Intune and Apple Business Manager in order to carry out the automated device enrollment for iOS, iPadOS and macOS devices. So let's get started. So the first place I've brought you to here is the logon page for the business Apple Business Manager. Now this is where you would put your Apple ID in. Um, but there's, if you haven't, there's an Enroll Now link here. And go ahead and click that. And this is where you would register your company. Now you do have to provide certain information, your organizational name, phone number, website, etc., and some verification contact details. Um, need, be aware that the business email address is not one which is associated with an existing Apple ID. So uh, just be aware of that. And Basically, one of the key fields is the DUNS number. This So this is your uh, valid DUNS number for your company. Um, and it's one which you would have been qualified through uh, Dun & Bradstreet. So you can look that up. You will need to provide all the information and then it will go through um, some verification and take a few days before you might get a response on this. Um, for now, I'm not going to go through actually setting this up or filling it in because I've already I'm already registered. But for you, you will need to go through this as a first step. So I've hopped over to the Microsoft website here just to give you a rundown of the steps that we need to follow effectively. And the first one really is to highlight the fact that there are some prerequisites when you're enrolling and setting up Apple Business Manager. Um, clearly you need to have uh, MDM authority on, on your Intune portal, but I would have thought you've already done that. And then we need to get an Apple uh, MDM push certificate. That's going to be the next thing we go through. Um, ultimately though, you're going to need to either have new or wipe devices purchased through Apple Business Manager to see them within Apple Business Manager and sync them through to Intune. So once we've done that, we'll come back here and go through adding the MDM server. Now there's gonna be a little bit of moving between your Intune tenant and Apple Business Manager to set this up. Um, so we're gonna use those two websites in order to do this. Um, first off though, I wanna have a look at this MDM push certificate. So the Microsoft information on the website is quite detailed here and these are effectively the steps we're gonna go through. Um, so we we grant the permission, etc. Download the injury certificate, sign in request, create an MDM push certificate, etc. But I'll put this in the details of the video so you can follow along for for reference. So let's hop over into Intune. Over within the Microsoft Admin Center, as it's now called, if you navigate to Devices, iOS, I iPad OS and then enrollment, you'll see there's a few options, but they're grayed out at the moment because we don't have an MDM push certificate. And you need this um, push certificate to manage your iOS, iPad OS or Mac OS devices. So we'll click that. Um, first thing off, you'll need to click this box so you agree with permission uh, for device information to go to Apple. Mine's grayed out because I've previously set it up, so you won't see that. Just click that box. Then we need to download a uh, CSR or certificate sign-in request. This will be done locally, so that will download locally. Keep a note of that. And then we need to go over to the Apple website to create the MD MDM push certificate. This will um, make you uh, log on with your Apple ID, and it might have... Um, additional or verification you need to go through in order to open up the website so i'll click that so i had to go through two-factor authentication myself here and then it brings you to the push certificates portal now the key thing to note here is um not that i've already got a few on here you can disregard those um, i'm going to create a new one but the key thing is that the certificates that you create here only last for one year so Whoever you're signing and who's managing these certificates will need to renew this. Otherwise, you won't be able to communicate back 
to your ABM or Apple Business Manager. So keep a note of that. So we're going to create a certificate and then I'm going to basically upload my CSR, if you remember, that I just downloaded from Intune. Going to upload that that's given me confirmation um, and it now allow me um, you've successfully created a new push certificate okay with the information so I need to go and download that so I'm, I'm going to need that back on Intune so I'll download that and that's a dot pem file so keep note of that so I'm going to hop back on into Intune again and I need to put in my Apple ID at this point and then I need to select the file I just downloaded that certificate you remember I just downloaded so I'll go ahead and upload a file and that's the PEM file there let's open that and upload it and hopefully this will verify and it now says that my MDM push certificate is active you can see that there so the next thing you'll notice instantly is the options for enrollment have been enabled within your Intune Admin Center here. So this now allows us to go ahead and configure these. Before we do that, let's go back to the Microsoft um, information on their website. So the next step is effectively to create an, uh, an MDM server. Now this happens within Apple Business Manager, but you go through a process of connecting your Intune Admin Center through to Apple Business Manager, which allows you to transfer and synchronize data, devices and applications, etc., back and forth between the two, uh, the two portals. So we're going to start this process and we'll do that within uh, your Intune. So what we need to do is create uh, an enrollment program token. I don't have any in any in here at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and add. I need to grant permission, um, grant Microsoft permission to send user and device information. I'm going to go down and download your public key. This is specifically for this token, remember. So keep an eye on that. That's the .pem file. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and create a token via Apple Business Manager. Like I said, we'll sw switch between the two. If you've got Apple School Manager, you would click on this link here. Right, so I'm going to click this create a token via Apple Business Manager. It's opened up a new tab and it's going to log me in. Now, if I go to preferences, I'll see that there are already a number of MDM servers in here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'm going to call it Okay, so it's asking for the public key and we downloaded that within Intune. So I'm going to go ahead and select that file. Should be the latest one. Yeah, so we do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. So I now have my Andy Intune MDM Server 1. This is where if I had um, devices associated with this, I could click that and see the devices. I don't at the moment, but if I go back to Andy Intune server, at this point, I can go ahead and download the token, okay? Or if I needed to, I can delete this server as well. So let's do that. I'm gonna download the token, which we're then gonna use within, um, within Intune. Remember, as it's saying here, it will reset your existing one if you already have one. So let's download the server token. And this creates a .p7m file, okay? So let's switch back to Intune here. I need to put in my, um, my Apple ID account, and then I'm gonna upload this file that I've just downloaded from Apple Business Manager. There we go, so I hit the next. It's telling me, um, it's asking me whether I want to create it, so I'm gonna create it, and it's, telling me that the um, has, been, has been successfully synchronized. So we should now have a synchronization through to Apple Business Manager with this specific token. Just to finish this off and, and show you that there is a connection, I'm gonna go back into Apple Business Manager, assign uh, an iOS device and sync it through to my Intune 
uh, admin center here. So to Apple Business Manager, there's my server. If I select devices and I do a search for a specific device, um, there's mine, I've got an iPhone XR there. Now it's currently unassigned. You can see that it's currently unassigned. Now I have the ability, I can edit that MDM server, click the assign and select my own MDM server that I just created. And there's my server. So I'll do that and I'll hit continue. And it's saying, are you sure you want to change the MDM server? So it's just checking that you're, you're doing the right thing um, before you assign this down there it's MDM it's been updated and assigned so if I go back to my MDM server and I hit the show devices you can now see that I've got an iPhone XR there switching back to Intune um, I can go into devices and refresh this it's telling me that the syncing is in process okay so it hasn't quite finished so I'll come back when this is all when this is synchronized okay so I'm back this took about five minutes to sync and now you can see the serial number of the device that you saw within Apple Business Manager it's now been synced through um, as it says above here Intune syncs enrollment program devices from Apple after syncing but before powering on the device you must assign devices to an enrollment profile to enable enrollment now this means that despite the fact that you have the, the device available uh, and visible within your Intune tenant it doesn't mean that it's enabled for enrollment in order to do that you will need to create a profile okay an enrollment profile and you would hit profiles there and then create a profile choose the OS level in order to do that I'm not going to go through that in this video I will go through it in a subsequent video because there's some additional information to go through. Thanks for watching. In this video, we went through connecting Apple Business Manager with Intune. Hopefully you got the information that you need. Tune in again soon for the next episode.